In this video, I'm going to show you how to program an Arduino Pro Mini. If you're a beginner, the Pro Mini is the perfect Arduino to shrink your Uno projects down. However, it does come with a few caveats. Firstly, there's no USB on here, so we need something else to program with. I'm going to show you how to use this um, CP2102 uh, programmer. And if you have trouble doing this and you followed all the instructions in this video, I'm here to tell you, you probably have something wrong with your hardware or your software. So if you follow these steps, 100% you should get this programmed. If not, you probably have an external problem. So first thing is over on this side here, you'll see there's a few marked pins. Um, they are ground, VCC, RXI, TXO, and then underneath is DTR, or sometimes it's marked GRN. And you'll see on your programmer, you'll have those same pins except TX and RX are flipped over. So most of these devices are actually made to go directly into your Arduino. I have um, just a few jumper leads here, but uh, they don't come with these. You can just add these, or you can solder pins onto these, or however you want to do it. So first things first is to find out what kind of Pro Mini you have. There is a 3.3 volt and a 5 volt version, and within those there are 16 megahertz and 8 megahertz versions. This is a 5 volt, um, 16 megahertz. So I will use the 5 volt pin here instead of the 3, 3v3 pin up here. If you have a 3.3 volt, you'll just use that 3v3. And then it's just matching the colors. So Ground is black, red is VCC, and then my orange, which is my TX, needs to connect to the RX, and my brown, which is um, RX, needs to connect to TX, and then the white one here is, will just connect to this bottom one, which is DTR. So that's it, and just the tension on these wires here will be enough to program this. Now if I were to plug this in right now, you would see that this is actually just running the default blink sketch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify the blink sketch and upload a modified blink sketch so we can tell if this thing is running or not. So let's head over to the computer now. Here we are at the computer. So you need to first install the uh, CP2102 drivers. I will put the link in the description below. And it's always a good idea after you install a driver to restart your computer, but nowadays it's not really required. Now we have to figure out what COM port your Pro Mini is going to be on. So if I just go here and search USB, and then you go um, in the Device Manager, you're going to see um, Ports, and then here is the Scilabs CP. 210X USB to UART bridge and it says I am on COM3 so you're gonna have to remember that for in the Arduino software so I'm gonna open up Arduino I have the scale set up high so you can see it and this is just the default blink sketch if you don't know how to get here you just go file examples basics and blink and this is the default software that's written on most Arduinos you get from eBay so the first things first is we want to change this so we know that what we put in is what we put in. It's not just the default blink sketch that's still in there. So I copied all of this. I'm just going to paste it. And you see here, high means turn the LED on. So it goes on once, wait a second, off once, wait a second, on once, wait a second, off once, wait, wait a second. So this second one here, I'm just going to turn to about 250 milliseconds. Um, and that's no longer good. And this will just tell us if it does a one second blink, one second off, quick blink, one second off, that our software is truly what we've uploaded. So that's good there. Now over here, you want to go Tools and select your board. For us, it's the Pro or Pro Mini, which is what we're using, the Pro Mini. Um, the processor, you have to pick if you have the 
um, 8 mega 328p most of the times you will but if not just read the chip and I've got the 5 volt 16 megahertz so that's the one I have selected port I have to select the port I am on it's already on here because I've already programmed some pro minis and then for your programmer you want to go down and pick USB ASP now if you're having issues I know that some of my USB ports on my computer do not work for programming with the CP2102. So move, if it doesn't work, move it around to another port. Right now it's actually still on my workbench where I record videos, so I have a long extension. So hopefully it works, but uh, I mean it should, but if it doesn't, we'll deal with it. So we're ready now. We've got all our things selected. So now you just go upload see the compiling down here it's uploading and it's done uploading so now all it's left to do is to go back and see if our Arduino actually does that weird second blink that we set up here we are back looking at the Arduino I'm just going to plug in the USB just off screen here and take a look at this LED and see if it does the new pattern plug it in on for a second and then a quick blink. On for a second, quick blink. So we did successfully program this. So if you have any issues and you followed these steps exactly, there's probably a problem with your wiring, your USB port, your driver, or something like that, because none of the tutorials on YouTube I found had all of these steps and showed what programmer to use what board to use, all this. They didn't show everything. So when I had problems, I actually diagnosed it myself, and it was my CP2102. The Some of the pins here were shorted together, and I didn't even know, but I always thought I had the wrong programmer. So now at least you guys know, and if you have any issues, please post in the comments, and the comments section and myself will try to resolve them for you. Thanks again for watching.